So I do an annual Auburn and Alabama painting, two different paintings each year. I'm not into sports, but everybody around here is, so I just do it my style. I have an elephant drawn out on this recycled board, and I'm starting with the acrylics. I did the tusks with the white acrylics and the eyelashes, and there I'm working on the eye. And I have to shade, oh, and I do the hairs. I do my details in acrylics first because I'm so fast I don't want to wait on a couple days before I add my details, so I just paint around them. I, ex um, I put in my highlights there, and then I put in my black shadows, and now I'm starting to fill in the medium color, the gray. And I'm just doing one section at a time, trying to get my groove for this painting. I often start at some less important area of the painting so I can figure out how best to get that animal's texture across. And I blend in my lights and my darks so the lines between them are not harsh. <coughs> The panel that I'm using is a 28 by, no, 24 by 48 panel I got for less than $5. It was, it's some sort of plywood, smooth, maybe Luan on a wooden frame, made in China. I bought two of them. They were so cheap at the thrift store because they had screws in them that I had to take out and I had to putty up the holes. Okay, so I'm adding vermilion, which is a nice bright orange that I like, red orange. I'm adding it to the areas that I want to draw attention to, the trunk and the cheek. All right, time for the ear. Same method. Do the highlights first, which is just white in this painting and then I lay in my blacks my my um, shadows and then put in the medium color which is called local color and for this one that's that light gray <clears throat> and then I blend them I'm laying them in with a palette knife I blend them with a palette knife most of this elephant is done with a palette knife. It just gets such cool texture. You can notice I'm wearing a plastic glove on my right hand, and I wear one on my left hand when dealing with oils. They are insidious. They get everywhere. I cover my desk with paper, and then at the end of an oil painting, I throw away all that paper. I use my scrap paper to wipe my... Um, palette knife on and then I wanted to show doing the leg and the highlights put in the shadows put in the local color and each area has to be blended differently the leg gets blended going across which was different from the ear which got blended going out from a central point so see I'm doing those across wrinkles those circular sort of arches to show that that's his leg. And then I lay in some more vermilion in the ear. I like to put in bold colors wherever I can put them in.